All right, so today we're going to graph the equation y equals x squared. So we're going to be graphing some pairs of x and y coordinates until we have enough graph where we see a pattern. I'm going to make my x and y table and I'm going to choose my x values. I'm going to pick the numbers uh, from negative 4 up to 4. Okay, and I'm going to see what this graph looks like with these coordinates. And if I need to graph some more coordinates, I will. I'm going to plug in negative 4 into my equation. It says y equals x squared, so negative 4 in parentheses squared, 16, negative 3 in parentheses squared is 9, negative 2 squared is 4, negative 1 squared is 1, 0 squared is 0, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16. So it looks like I'm getting some repeat answers here. So this graph is going to take a different shape other than the lines I'm used to graphing. So now that I have my coordinates, I'm going to proceed to the graph. Negative 4, 16, go to the left 4 and up 16, to the left 3 and up 9, to the left 2 and up 4, to the left 1 and up 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 4, 3, 9, 4, 16, Okay, so looking at this graph, it looks like it's taking on a U-shape or a V-shape. If you don't have a lot of experience with graphing, you might think this is a V-shape. But if I plot additional coordinates, you will see that along the vertex, it starts to curve in more. So this actually is a U-shaped graph known as a parabola. So I'm going to connect my dots just to show the shape of the parabola here. Okay, y equals x squared happens to be what's called the parent graph. It's like the, the first quadratic or the simplest quadratic equation that you can graph. And we're going to, in the next problem, look at different types of parabolas and what their formulas look like. Because sometimes your parabola will be skinny. Sometimes it will be really, really wide. Sometimes it can be facing a different direction. And sometimes it can be shifted to the right or shifted to the left. So all these different ways that your parabola can be changed that means that your formula is going to look different as well. So we'll explore some different formulas that happen to be parabolas as well. All right, so in our next problem, we're going to graph y equals 2x squared. And we're going to try to compare this new formula to our previous uh, formula, y equals x squared. Sometimes the best way to compare graphs is to graph them both on the same coordinate grid. So I'm going to plot y equals 2x squared on the same graph that I plotted y equals x squared and see how they compare. We're going to keep the same x values. So we're going to have x values from negative 4 up to 4. And we're going to see what that graph looks like. I'll plug in negative 4 to my formula. 2 times parentheses negative 4 to the second power. So in following order of operations, you get 32. So my new coordinates now are negative 4, 32. Negative 3, 18. Negative 2, 8. Negative 1, 2. 0, 0. 1, 2. 2, 8, 3, 18, 4, 32. I'll connect these coordinates here. So I'm comparing these two graphs. They're both a U-shape. However, um, it looks like y equals 2x squared is a skinnier graph than y equals x squared. And also looking at their formulas, the only difference between y equals x squared and y equals 2x squared is that there is a 2 in front of the x squared. So it looks like Putting a number in front of the x squared changes the wideness of the graph. It can make it skinnier. And maybe we can explore ways to maybe make it wider. So we could try to put a fraction in front of the x squared and see what happens to the graph. Okay, let me see if I've got this. As the number in front of the x squared gets larger, then the parabola gets narrower. So does that mean that if we were to graph 1 half x squared, the parabola would get wider? Gonna try that and see. Again, I think I'll use the numbers from negative 4 to positive 4. So when x is equal to negative 4, I would have y is equal to 1 half negative 4 squared. Negative 4 times negative 4 is a positive 16, and half of that is 8. So y would equal 8. I'm going to quickly finish finding my data points, and then I'll be ready to graph them. I might even throw in a few extra points, because this graph is looking a little short. Now we're ready to connect the dots, and it is clear that the parabola for y equals 1 half x squared is wider than the other two graphs. Now why don't you try the problem y equals 4x squared? Before you start, make a prediction where you think this graph will be in relationship to the other graphs that we have done.
To check your answer, watch the video below.